With Oreos and Pies coming out with all the custom ROMs in 2018, I thought maybe I should try and go back to the old times where it all began. And so here I am booting Cyanogen 13 in 2018. A bit into the history, just one year after the release of the HTC Dream, Pipe to gain root access in the Linux subsystem had been enlightened, and a developer named Jesus Frick had started to distribute a modified firmware for the device. Soon he handed over his work to a developer named Cyanogen, who gave us the Cyanogen mod. The Cyanogen community soon grew and was maintained by the Cyanogen mod team. It took a few years and in 2016, the group of developers separated out and the code was rebranded to Lineage OS and gave its first releases as Lineage OS 14, built on top of Android Nougat. Okay, here we are. I remember that wallpaper and the trebuchet launcher. It's a British word for a stone launcher in wars. Anyways, so here are all the tweaks for the home screen and the app drawer, icons, etc. If you swipe down, there's the old QS panel. Note that this is CM13, but the devs have made some UI elements to look like Android. No I'll get that too in a bit. Here come the settings app with all the flooded options and tweaks to play with. And this is what the ROM was all about. Customizability. You could make your device launch the music app when you plug in your headphones or rotate your display a full 180 degrees. You had your CM themer, which all what Substratum is right now. It had dedicated themes in the Play Store, most often free and, and they changed mostly everything in the UI as per your liking. You could set a dark theme or a pixel UI theme, just to name a few. You could change the lock screen UI, scramble pin is one of my favorites. You could also choose between on-screen navigation or hardware keys and even add various function keys to the navbar remap hardware keys and many more. You also had a handful of gestures depending on the device hardware limits. And you could even change the clock position, battery icon, control brightness with a swipe on the status bar which was pretty cool. Just to show that this is CM13 not built over no good. The easter egg and the android versions are fake. I wonder what would happen if I... Yep is the marshmallow game. Cyanogen's camera was also present though not that great at image processing but this wasn't for photographers. This was for those hardcore android fans who wanted to take the customization game to the next level. Cyanogen mod has had a great legacy and love amongst android fans and it was a great pleasure going to my old phone downgrading its firmwares and flashing Cyanogen Mod 13. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.